When playing Helldivers 2, you want to use the best weapons available. With the Democrat of Destination War Bomb now available, you want to also use the best weapons from the pack provided. The R36 Eruptor and CB9 Explosive Crossbow are two competing weapons that share a similar design philosophy, but both have differentiating strengths. So if you were to turn back time and you had to decide which weapon is best to use, which one would you pick? Today's video will be answering the age-old question on whether modern weapons are better to use or if older weapons are much better to use. Let's get started. The Eruptor is a bolt-action explosive rifle that can only be gotten from the Democratic Demolition War Bond for 60 medals. It has the following stats. Damage, 380. Fire rate, 25. Capacity, 5. Recoil, 75. Armor penetration, medium. The Eruptor acts like a mini auto cannon with a slower fire rate and reload speed but holds an impressive amount of explosive damage upon impact. A capable of closing bug holes, bot fabricators and destroying metal doors, the weapon excels well with being able to operate in different scenarios and situations, no matter where the player may go. As a marksman rifle, it is best used on medium to long range engagements to which the shots become more accurate when also applying crouch or prone movement. It comes packed with a large AOE damage of around 8 meters, which allow users to weaken or outright kill targets just from the splash damage alone. In fact, this is so impressive that this is a great way to kill a charger without needing to rotate and destroy their backside area. Although the weapon has medium armor penetration, this only applies to a few enemies in game, as chargers require their armor to be cracked for the weapon to do noticeable damage. But once that effect does kick in, this weapon will diminish most armored units within a few shots or less. The crossbow is pretty much what you would imagine a 22nd century bow would look like. This weapon can only be gotten from the Democrat Destination Pack for 80 medals. It has the following stats. Damage, 420. Capacity, 5. Recoil, 35. Fire rate, 50. The crossbow, unlike the Eruptor, fires an explosive grenade that excels well against non-armored units. Its explosive AOE seems to be on par with the Eruptor, although testing has shown to be capable of taking out large groups of enemies in one blast. However, Please note that as of recently, the devs have just adjusted the weapon's performance by quite a bit. It has the added bonus of being shot faster, reloads faster, and has higher damage per shot made, which overall allows you to deal with singular or grouped enemies quite fast. Ultimately, the weapon is an anti-swarm primary that should be solely used against non-armored units in-game, as its damage and explosive blast radius will be enough to take out multiple enemies at once. Using this against armored units isn't advice as the weapon does poorly against them, but this will also vary as to where you are aiming and if the enemies have an area that is exposed to being damaged. In comparison, let's look at what they do well. They are both single shot weapons which allows better accuracy. Both have high damage for impact shots. Both have large blast radius for taking out multiple enemies. Both can be paired with a machine gun, star vault or heavy machine gun for more support. Now for where they fail on, both can kill you and your team if you shoot too close, both have relatively small magazine size, both require a bit of practice to master, and both do poorly against fast moving enemies. So a lot of the pros and cons can be summarized as explosive damage, really good, blast radius bad when near teammates, which of course we know of, kind of. The big difference between the two weapons is in their fire rate and armor penetration. The exploding crossbow could fire all five of the shots without having any reload animations, which makes it useful for quickly dispersing large groups instantly. The crossbow could fire a total of 60 shots before it runs out of ammo with a magazine capacity of 5 bolts. It does not have any additional attachments, and it has a very steep fall off, making it hard to use in long range engagements. However, depending on the distance you fire, you can use this negative as a positive by practicing your arc aims bit by bit, since you do have the ammo to do so. Something like a handheld mortar is what I came in mind. Although lacking the capability of penetrating medium armor and not being able to close bug holes or automaton fabricators, it does make it fall behind the Eruptor, which covers this very well. But when you compare this to dealing with large mumps quickly, the crossbow has that nailed down perfectly. The Eruptor, although slower to fire, 
sacrifices speed for damage, making it great to use against the more beefier targets on a whim. It requires a bit more accuracy to use, but this is a small hurdle that can be easily overwhelmed by taking your time. Its damage is capable of taking out a large number of enemies within a few shots, and the crossbow is capable of doing so. For example, using this against a hive god, it will require two precision hits or two body shots. This tends to be the same for the brute commanders, nursing spewers, bio spewers, and then charger requires four precision hits on the backside area. But then I believe it takes about two to three hits upon the exposed leg area. This is where the crossbow starts to fall apart, as it requires more shots to make a dent in the armored units, something that the weapon is not designed for. Hive Guard, for example, requires three precision shots or two body shots. Brew Commanders, three precision shots or four body shots. Nursing Spewer, two precision shots or three body shots. Bio Spewer, four precision shots or three body shots. And then charges of five precision shots or seven AoE shots via the underbelly method. So out of the two, which one is ultimately the best? From testing, generally it's quite obvious. The Eruptor is the so-called winner here, as it covers many roles that most players will need when doing missions. However, the crossroads still has an advantage when compared to the Eruptor, which players should not overlook at all. The Eruptor from its damage, long range capability, flexibility with your kit, and strength against armored units provides a more noticeable impact on missions when compared to having the crossbow in hand. Although it is slow to fire and reload, this is then backed up by its huge damage and penetration factor, which can be life and death in some dire situations. On the other hand, the crossbow, although now nerfed, is still great for stealth and dealing with swarms of enemies much better than the Eruptor. It's fast to fire, reload, and operate against the light armored units quite fittingly for a primary. And with this in mind, you can customize the loadout to fit a more stealthy setup designed for dealing with outposts and completing secondary objectives. The only downside to use the weapon is the lack of armor penetration, not being able to deal with bug holes, and the arch trajectory need to be taken in mind. Ultimately, the Eruptor is better for a more well rounded kit, while the crossbow is better for fast movements and dealing with mobs quickly. I would advise you give them both a try, as they are, in my opinion, the best explosive weapons money can buy. So there we have it, I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you have any thoughts on the content to share, then please leave a comment below. While at the same time, if you enjoy the content and want more of these videos in the future, then leave a like and sub while here. It was great sharing today's video with you all, and I hope to see you again soon.